Okay, guys, <laughs> Mr. Ballion here. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this in the building, so I have to have my mask on. Help me out here. Okay, um, let's do this. I'm in I'm in Blender. This is going to be my intro, okay? So basically, you guys have these on the computers. I'm not going through as to how you're going to install, so it's been done, okay? When you start this app, here's what I want you guys to remember, okay? These tools right here. Look at this. This is a move tool. This one's a rotation tool. Okay, scale. Uh, where's my glasses? I don't think. Oh, yeah, another layer. Here we go. Woohoo! And this one has all of them. Look at that. So really, move, rotate, scale. That's it. Okay, it's fogging up. Forget it. All right. So, <laughs> oh, it's my first session with Blender. I hope this is recording. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Let's keep it short, Valiant. Okay, so basically in this unit, uh, sorry, in this lesson, all I'm going to do is show you how to navigate, move around, okay? And going from Maya to Blender, I'm going to kind of get confused um, often. So you definitely need a three-button mouse, okay? And when you start, uh, let's say right here, okay? I'm looking up here. I'm saying to you guys, we're going to use layout, modeling, layout, and modeling, okay? You see the, the angle kind of changes, which is kind of cool. And we're going to start in layout and work our way to modeling, okay? It's that simple. Forget about any of these at the moment. As well, this little orange square, that's a good one for us. Eventually, we're going to go into shading and uh, maybe texturing. I doubt we'll get there for the grade 9 unit or any 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 course, actually. So remember this. Okay, so here I am. I'm in Blender. What do I do? Well, like in any application, you want to know how do you move around, and I'm holding my middle scroll button, so you do need a three-button mouse, right? So look, middle mouse and drag your mouse. So middle middle scroll button down and then drag left or right and this is what you get you get an orbit now if i hold uh what do i hold shift yeah <laughs> yeah between maya and blend is going to be fun shift and middle scroll is pan okay so that's pretty much what you need right now really look at it let go of shift and just rotate around sweet now if you're not comfortable with what i'm doing just come over here now this is all orthographic kind of right so this is maybe top view it says z this says x I don't know what this is. It's another orthographic view, okay? I have no idea what's what here. Other than that, you can come in here and look at this. Left click and drag in here, and now you get a perspective view. Isn't that cool? And in this verse, and oh, look, we have, we're upside down here. This is cool because look, look where the light is. In a way, it's cool to keep this light and camera in here. So if I just rotate here now, I'm left click and dragging. Left click and dragging, you can rotate any way you want, okay? Okay, so this is kind of all right. So zoom in, zoom out, middle scroll button. Uh, it's pretty much every application has that. This is your, uh, your. Um, I think it's an ISO. Is it ISO? Ortho. What? That's not ortho. Whatever. And this is camera. Okay, forget about it. We don't need either one of these, okay? So we'll just come in here. I, I just want to be get out of this. Yes. I think in this application, it's weird. You've got an ortho and an ISO, whatever. Let's just go like this. Okay, so you got a cube. What do you do with this, right? Basically, the first thing you got to do is look at this. Red is X, Y is green, and Z is up and down. Uh, in Maya, uh, I think Y is up. Yeah, X, Y, Z is depth. So Z depth is north, up. Okay, whatever. So now you're saying, I want to move this. Okay, let's move. Let's look. If you hover here, it says move. So now look at this. See, this this, this triangle, like um, the tripods are here. I hope the sound is worth going through this muzzle that I have. Basically, people, look, just do this. Just go back and forth and say, oh, yeah, so I guess I'm moving on the X, right? The way to know, right here, look at that, transform on the X. If I type in zero, just like any other software, 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, Blender, all the same. Transform is transform. Rotate is rotate, scale, scale. Okay, cool. You want to move it up on the Z? There it is. So remember, it's X, Y, and Z, right? And move. Okay, so I did all this. Look, I'm just going to hover and throw it somewhere over here, and I'm going to just yeah, left-click. So basically, I'm left-clicking and dragging it somewhere in Never Never Land. So look what I'll do. I'll just go in here, zero, tab, zero, tab, zero. You go back to the beginning, okay? That's your space. So and then, uh, what is it here? Oh, yeah, middle scroll, and drag your mouse, and you're orbiting. Okay, sweet. Now... Let's have some fun. So the way to do this with hotkeys, G, okay, look, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to press G. And then if I press X now, and I want you to practice this without, without doing anything, look around, don't know what I'm doing. Blender is going to force you 
to go in the X because you said G for grab and X constraint on the X axis. Cool, right? So if I go G and Y now, look, look at that. I'm going to say grab again and go Z. See, this is sweet. So actually, wherever I am, watch, I'll, I'll just drag here right now that I do in, in Maya. Like I'm just using the uh, tripods here. So if I'll, all of a sudden I go, I select G for grab and I say, yeah, you know what? I want to move up and down. Z. Wherever you are, the Z axis kicks in and you're just gliding your mouse. You're not pressing any buttons. Sweet. Isn't that nice? So I think this is a good start. So zoom in, zoom out. I'm sure there's a way to select everything. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is kind of fun. Okay. So now again, you have this selected and you're saying, Alexi, I want to go back to zero. Okay. No problem. Boom, boom. And so now, um, okay, this is cool, right? So we said layout. We said modeling. Okay, since it starts with a cube, so what if I select this and press delete, what happens? Absolutely nada. So here, if you want to delete it, press, I believe it's X. Yeah, 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 X. And then this comes up, are you sure? I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, see ya, bye-bye, okay? All right, so we just got rid of it, what do I do? So in the beginning, all I want you guys to do is just get comfortable adding, duplicating, adding, moving, duplicating, that kind of thing, which which is essential for any application you're in. So over here, if I look at this here, there's a lot of cool stuff happening in Blender. Look, the minute I, I go to add, look down here, it says, you've got these options. Isn't that interesting? Really cool. Okay, so if I click on add, oh, look at this. Sweet. <laughs> That's where it, anyway, yeah. I just found something I was looking for. Mesh, right? So this was the cube. Where's my cube? Right there. That's my cube. And I'm going to say X delete i'll go to add again mesh and this time i go to uh let's go where's my cylinder right there sweet now this is interesting it's totally different than maya this is important right here okay and i have a feeling once i let go of these settings this disappears so they use the language of vertices as opposed to segments so if i go let's say 12 look there it is right Okay, and then location, of course, I can go X, Y, whatever. Don't worry about it. Height, depth, I don't know what this is, so let's go five. What's this going to do? Bing, right there. So that's height, depth, height. So we got to get used to the language, okay? And it's on the world, meaning this is your world, X, Y, Z, so don't worry about it. This is all you need right now. Okay, so I'm going to say this is going to be one meter by one meter, which is kind of interesting. This scale right now is perfect for sending our work to a game engine, like Unreal. Uh, I believe it's in meter meters. Uh, it, it'll it'll all come back to me once I play with this, okay? So check it out. There's my cylinder, right? Okay, now how about we duplicate? And it was Command D in Maya. Let me try Shift D here. Uh, uh, yeah, it does. Look at this. I made a second one by just hitting Shift D, but now I'm going to go G and then Y. See, it, it goes on the Y. Um, let go of it. And now what happens is, as soon as I do this, unlike Maya, you lose all your settings. You can't change it anymore. Okay, so right now I'm going to bring this bad boy back to zero, and I'm going to say grab and move on the Z axis. Watch this, G and Z, it goes up. Okay, I think I did that. Yeah, see, it's moving up. I did say G and Z, I should be hovering. Yeah, see, this is kind of cool, right? This is totally perfect for us making our snowman or a character. We're going to duplicate options, okay? So I'm going to click out. I'm going to click here, shift select both, and I'm going to go... G, let's move it on the Y. Bye-bye. You're gone, Ski. Okay, let's do. Let's bring in some spheres in here, okay? Remember, everything that you're doing, grade 9, 10, 11, 12, everything this year, the theme is low polygon. That means not too many faces. How many minutes am I here? All right, I'm going to keep this under 10. I promise. Okay, add as opposed to object, okay? So let's just go to add, mesh, and this time we'll go to, where's my sphere, buddy? Sphere, not icosphere. Is it a UV sphere? I don't know why they call it that. Okay, whatever. Okay, so imagine I'm making a... Uh, uh, oh, this is cool. I'm making my snowman, right? So you know now, shift... Is it shift D? Yeah, duplicate. Now I'm going to say... I'm just going to press Z for the hell of it. Yes! Look at that. Without even holding, pressing uh, G for grab, it's working, right? It's going up. Nice. Now I'm going to press scale because I want each sphere to be smaller. Okay, let's see. Right here. Okay. So what does that do? Eee, that's not good. Not good at all. So I got to, okay, so the middle, see, you're dragging. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get used to this somehow, right? So <laughs> 
Yes, if I go this way, and I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm holding shift. I'm constraining it, basically. And what is it saying here? See, over here, it's whatever, right? Actually, in this software, you can go 0.5. And as I watch, scale. Uh, am I in scale? Yeah, and the hotkey. And if I go 0.5, is it going to do it? There was a way to do that. So anyway, let's look here. Okay, I did it 1.5, right? So I'm just going to say 0.5, tab. It'll come back to me, guys. Trust me. Uh, I've, I, okay, 0.5 looks like that. Isn't that interesting? From 1 to 0.5. Cool. I'll just say, uh, here's my move tool without pressing grab. Done. Okay. So now I'm going to take this one. I'm going to duplicate again. Shift D. And I'm going to say, uh, just press Z like that. Okay. And leave it. And this time I'll come in here. Watch this. I'll come in here and say 0.8, tab, 0.8, tab, 0.8. Now there is a a better way to do that obviously I'll get more used to it so now I'm just gonna press shift uh, sorry not shift middle of the scroll button down and there's that okay so I'll look at this now after the fact I'm saying yeah you know what you're too small buddy so why don't I just go 0.7 tab 0.7 tab 0.7 okay all right there we go so in a way this is kind of cool right I got my snowman starting Woohoo! And now I'm going to bring a cylinder in and a top, just do a top hat, okay? So this is this is more than enough for right now. Uh, I hit 11. Okay. So if I wanted to do this next part, it's going to be really cool. I'm going to stop here. Just just bring a bunch of objects. Day one. Move around. Orbit around like this. Hold shift and pan. Create objects. Duplicate them. Move them on axes. That's all you got to do. Go through spheres, cubes, cylinders, cones, everything. Get comfortable only using these. Look, this is select, so I just selected it, right? This is select and move. Nice, right? Without even knowing G, Y, X, Y stuff, you could just do it like that through there. Okay, and then you can rotate and then come back. So remember, whenever you're lost, bring everything back to zero. I'm going to stop here. I'm curious about the volume here because I'm being muzzled here. All right, bailing out. I hope this one's worth it. Bye-bye. Intro to Blender 1. See you on the next one.